Let me tell you a story. <clears throat> On a ArcGage Fresh Start server, a few years back, I was voted in as the Eranor hero. Like, I was the top hero, basically. For those of you who haven't played it, there's an election, basically. And I was president. I became president. Um, so I led a lot of, like, faction, PvP events, things like that. The most memorable moment for me in ArcGage, which got me obsessed with MMOs, to be honest, it's a bit of a doozy. So I had a friend. He shall remain unnamed, but it starts with an M. So there's a PvP event right and you and your faction try to beat the other faction in this pvp event it's a weird king of the hill kind of pvp event and there's a very specific strategy to winning and locking in a win and on our faction my friend who had a ton of bots a ton of he was multi-boxing he had dozens of accounts he was sabotaging so that his bots could get more participation points because you have to participate a minimum amount in order to in order to get the rewards from winning or from losing because you get some rewards from losing still. So for him, it was more beneficial for us to lose, but all of his alts to get a lot of participation. He was sabotaging us, and so I told the entire faction that was that was participating at the time, I was like, "All right, boys, flag up. We are killing his bots. This is the only way we're gonna win is if we kill the bots." When you attack your own faction in Arcage, a blood stain shows up on the ground, and people can report you. We 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 won. We won that PvP event. Uh, we killed like a hundred of his bots he only had like 12 he kept respawning and kept trying to sabotage us so we were fighting the other faction and we were killing his bots at the same time it was like pure pandemonium and i killed a lot of his bots i was like an aoe tank so i had like a lot of participation in killing his bots and so he reported all of my blood stains very specifically he didn't really care about anyone else's and in arc age when you have a certain amount of criminal points built up from being reported from like blood stains or other like crimes that you've done. And then when you next die, after you meet a certain threshold, you go to court and then you're judged by your peers. And I went to court. I died one day and I was like, oh shit, well, I, I want to reset it preemptively so it's not in the, so I can raid uh, like, or do something in the open world, like open world PVP without like being interrupted in the middle of it and being sent to jail, maybe. so. I, I get myself killed and then I'm like, okay, time for court. I'm basically the president. I'm like, yo, everyone loves me. Like I get them so many points, it's whatever. I'm, it's basically like a get out of jail free card. And then I look at the jury and then I recognize some names. Not exactly, but I recognize them. I'm like, oh, those are familiar. Um, they're my friend's alts. There's a certain queue in the jury system and you have to have zero criminal points in order to be in that queue. And uh, apparently he did report basically everybody who was participating in the, uh, in the massacre of his alts because no one, no one had zero criminal points, unlike the entire faction that was playing at the time. And so he was judge, jury, and executioner because his bots technically did nothing wrong by the system's standards, right? So he sentences me to 48 hours in prison. And I'm like, oh, um, what the hell? So you can break out of prison, but you keep your criminal points. You have to stay in prison in Arcage, otherwise your criminal points won't reset. So you have to do the time and perform yourself. I was, I was outsmarted. I was outplayed. It was like, uh, it, it was like if my opponent was like Light Yagami from uh, Death Note or some shit like that. That is the moment that I was thinking, oh, MMORPGs are perfection because the content that you can get from them. How fun they are is based off of the people that you're playing with and the people around you and the people you're playing against. That's why I love MMORPGs is because of that one story in particular. I mean, there's a bunch of other reasons for why, but uh, that one sticks out to me the most. I'll be thinking about that when I'm on my deathbed. I'll be like that motherfucker.